In the last section, we spoke about how we can implement pagination over our collections by using the skip and limit modifiers on top of a query. Let's flip over to our test file and we're going to add in a new test to figure out exactly how skip and limit work. So I'm going to go over to my code editor and I think maybe a good place to put this test is inside of our existing reading test. So if I open this up, this is where we've been writing in some tests around reading users out of our database. And that's definitely what we want to do right now. You know, we're testing the ability to read users out of our database. So I think this would be a great place to add the test. I'm going to flip down to the bottom of this file and add on a new it block. So I'll add on a new it. And I think a good description for this would be it can skip and limit the result set. So when we're using skip and limit, that's what we're really doing. We are filtering out or filtering the result set. Skip and limit are applied traditionally after some amount of filtering criteria. So in practice, we can still say like, hey, give me all the users with the name of Joe. And, you know, maybe I've got many users with the name of Joe. And after we've applied that sort of filter, we can then skip and limit that result set. Okay. Let's uh, go back up to the top of this file. I'm going to find our before each statement. So here it is. I think that a good way to approach this test or a good way to write it is going to be to create a number of users, like maybe we'll say four different users. And then we will add in a query to fetch just some little window inside of there. Okay, so some just small portion of the users that we create. Right now, our before each is only creating a single user of Joe. So we'll need to add in a couple more new users and then save all of them. Keep in mind that since we're going to have four users total here and we only want to call our done callback once all four are saved, that definitely tells me right now, like I am definitely thinking in my head, that we're going to have to use that promise.all helper again. So we'll save all four users simultaneously and then when they're all done saving, we'll call our done callback. So that'll be our plan. So first, we've got Joe. We need to add in three new users here as well. Let's say that we're going to have Maria, Alex, and how about Zach? We'll keep this nice and alphabetical, which will make our lives a little bit easier. So let's start off with Joe, or excuse me, Alex. Alex is going to be a new user with the name of Alex. Let's do capitalization correctly. Then we'll add in Maria, who's going to be a new user with the name of Maria. And then finally, Zach, who's a new user with the name of Zach. Okay, so this again, just creates uh, these records on our server side or in our Node.js program. It does not persist it to our database. To do so, we have to actually call save on each record. Again, like I just mentioned, we have to save all four of these in parallel and only when they are all saved will we call that done callback. And so again, we'll use our promise.all helper to make that happen. So I'm going to pass an array to promise.all, and inside of here, we're going to save each record. So I'll say alex.save, joe.save, maria.save, and zach.save. I'm going to clean up all the existing code that we have underneath here, the joe.save stuff. Let's take it out. So now, I'm going to zoom out for one second just so you can see the whole line right here. We'll chain on, oops, my bad. We'll chain on a dot then statement, which will only be called once all four records are saved. And inside of here, we can call done. Okay, let's save this file. Now, all of our tests inside this file should still be running A-OK. -okay. So let's flip over to our terminal and, uh, huh. Oh, okay, so this is... Um, it looks like the tests are all passing. The test that we just added in is not calling the done callback. And so for right now, for me, that's failing. If we want to just make all of our tests pass, we can go down to the current it spec, or, or excuse me, the spec that we just added, and remove the reference to done over here. And if we do so, OK, so now all tests are passing. So even though we're adding a couple of other records inside of this uh, Bef before each test or this before each callback right here, it's not having any impact on the other tests that we have in this file. And actually that's like pretty good. It means that the find operations that we have in here are definitely working the way we expect. All right, so now that we have our test setup all put together, we can add in a little bit of a query in here to pull out just this very small window of users. 
So inside of our new it statement, we are going to make a query to find our users. Then we're going to limit and offset, or excuse me, limit and skip the number that we get back. So we'll start off by writing out a query to find all of the users in our user collection. So I'll say user.find, and I'm gonna pass in an empty object. Remember that by passing in an empty object right here, it means I have no filter criteria whatsoever. Just give me every record that is sitting in my database. If we wanted to apply some filter, like say only find the users with the name of Joe, we can certainly still do that here. After we find a list of users, be it like all the users or just a subset, just a filtered subset, we can then skip some number of records. Okay, so remember, this is a query modifier. So after creating the query, we are going to modify it in some fashion. We're gonna say, skip over this first number of records inside of here. So for us, for our test, we were saying that we want to skip over the first user and so, and then limit to a result set of two. So we should only get users two and three that are sitting in our collection. So I'm gonna skip the first user in our collection and then I'm going to limit the number of results so we get back to two. So right now, if we imagine that we have Alex, Joe, Maria, Zach, we just skipped Alex. So I can kind of like, you know, strike out Alex like so. And I said limit two. So I'm really going to expect to only see Joe and Maria in my result set. All right, I'm gonna take out this comment here. Uh, let's take a quick break because I don't want this to turn into too long a section. We'll take a quick break and then come back and write the actual assertion here. There is maybe going to be a little bit of a rough edge to this, something that we'll need to discuss as well. So I wanna make sure we have plenty of time to do that. So let's tackle this in the next section.